Hey y'all, welcome back to Goalpost Barbecue and Cooking. If it's Goalpost, it's good. I have, as you know, if you've watched any of the videos that I've shot here uh, at our little house here in Williamsburg, Virginia, a Weber Smoky Mountain, and it comes standard with the Weber thermometer, uh, dome thermometer here. Now, earlier this year, we had some issues here. If you followed us on Instagram, and if you haven't, go ahead and follow us at Goalpost Barbecue. Uh, where some ants got into the thermometer, took up residence, and ruined it. So uh, it's time to replace it anyway, and I thought that I would replace it with one of these nice big River Country thermometers just here. We're not sponsored by River Country, but hey, if you're interested, <laughs> send me a message. At any rate, uh, all we gotta do is do a little bit of modification here. This is the very first mod that I have done on this Weber Smoky Mountain. So, we're going to drill into the hole here, and we're simply going to uh, slide in to replace and replace. There's over here a, a washer that's going to go on the outside, so on this side, and then this nut is going to be on the inside. Should be nice and easy. The equipment that we're going to use here today is a drill, as you can see here, and a step bit that was given to me or uh, loaned to me from a friend. The hole needs to be 13 sixteenths as uh, recommended by the manufacturer of the thermometer. And then once we make the hole a little bit bigger, we're just gonna apply a little bit of this Max Heat uh, spray paint on the inside to protect the metal. And we're gonna do that with this little paintbrush here. Should be nice and easy. And when we're finished, we'll have a much nicer thermometer on this, uh, on this old girl and she'll continue to serve us very well. All right, so on the drill bit here, we're looking to get to the second to last line. That's 13 sixteenths. I have on, as you can see just a moment ago, safety glasses. Make sure you wear safety glasses. You may want to put this over uh, a sheet or over something that you can pick up easily. We've got this nice, uh, simple uh, box basket thing <laughs> that uh, Caitlin got me that holds uh, my charcoal. So we're just going to get started on this and here we go. So uh, we've drilled the hole. It is now 13 16 but you can see there's a little bit of mess in here, a little bit of shavings and all that. So we're just going to go back on the other side here with the bit and clean it out a little. With the hole drilled and uh, us having gone through and taken a look at the inside and out, or rather cleaned out the inside and out with the drill bit, we're now gonna take some of this exposed metal that you can see here and cover it with some high heat paint. So I'm just gonna spray into this little pan here and then we're gonna dab in and just try and cover that paint to make sure that it's not exposed itself. All right, buddy, you ready? Here we go. So washer on this side. The paint is dry. Should be pretty straightforward application here. Slide it in and then we, it's a pretty tight thread there. So we'll just get that to where we think it looks about right. So that's as far as it'll go. As you can see, it's upside down there. So I'm just gonna turn it back around and we're gonna hand tighten it on the other side. Just gonna shake this up. And all I'm doing on the side, you can't see it from where you are, but that's okay. I'm just gonna slide on the nut here and get it hand tight. And check this side here, make sure that that's the way we want it to look. It came up a little bit. We go twist it back and give it another twist on this side and we should be good to go look at that not too bad and we'll be ready to cook next time we decide we're going to smoke something out here which probably will be pretty soon all right everybody that was quick and painless wasn't it ah thanks so much for joining us here today we got our uh, thermometer on 
looking good. I'm really excited to use it the next time we get the opportunity, and I hope that you'll be here to join us when we do that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And remember, if it's goalposts, it's good. Thanks for watching, everybody.